Are you a big massive fatty? Well then you need an offensive white man to help you out. Time to get off your wobbly bums and melt that log. Today we're going to be watching Fat Families. Whee! So grab your popcorn, because we're in for a ride. A heavy ride. But essentially this show is about a former fat man that lost a load of weight, so I guess he has the fat pass. Maybe, I don't know. I'm Steve Miller, no nonsense fat buster. No nonsense fat buster. What a lovely alias. Everyone's favorite friendly neighborhood fat buster, minus the nonsense. <laughs> so look at the way he's literally <laughs> wrestling the food off her. Like, imagine you get an email land on your desk, right? And they're like, we'd love you to feature in our film or TV show. You get all excited, then you read it and it says, you need a fat person to wrestle over a pasta bake. I'm here to stamp out the obesity epidemic that is- Look at that poor guy's face. Poor fella just wanted his pint and chips, man. Is this what Stevie does then? He just breaks into your gaff and ransacks your scram. Awful bloke. One massive fat- Fuck me, he's strong, isn't he? Time. Okay, why does he punch the cake? There's just no need for that, was there? I wonder if he still does this, because obviously the series isn't running anymore. Apparently it lasts two seasons though, somehow. I reckon he like walks into a coffee shop and sees someone eating a panini, just fucking <laughs> runs in. Swat! You big fat wanker! I'm just stuffing my lunch, man. Say what, they might be fat shaming, but the tunes are nice. I'm in Telford, Shropshire, and I'm about to meet one of the fattest families I've met in my life. This trundling trio are grazing their way to an early grave. Watch out, massive fatties, the lard police are in town. Oh my god. Now, nah, imagine he did this now. This could not run. <laughs> he called himself the lard police. He really loves his job, doesn't he? And look at those hand movements. That's a man who loves his job, or just hates fat people. Meet Tanya Cook. She's the picture of health, and along with her and Mike, they live an active life. Well, there's life. nothing wrong with them. Grandparents Anne and Les are fighting fit, and kids... What's the issue here? ...complete the picture. But in reality, they look like this. The three fattest cups... No way. Oh, my God. They did not have to do that, did they? Now, this show is actually vile. You know what else is vile? The fact that you haven't subscribed. If you don't subscribe within five seconds, then you're going to become obese and Steve's going to run after you and shout nasty things at you. Ugh. Food in our house is probably an extra member of the family. Sorry, food is an extra member of the family. Oh, here comes little Timmy Takeaway. They don't stop gobbling up giant portions and cutting out Ugh. the junk. No, 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 no. I reckon someone's come out of their media studies A-level and gone, you know what the world needs? This brand new modern camera technique. Slap a GoPro on some cutlery. Have some selfie silverware. I hate fork cam. These cuffs just love to be stuffed, but there's a special reason why Tanya <laughs> weighs a ton. <laughs> why did they speak the up? Why? If I do look in the mirror, I like what I see. I can stand there naked and like what I see. I love my big body. You know what? Fair play. Like, obviously, it's bad for your health and everything. But you have to respect the confidence. Go on, Tanya. Right. I don't care what condition you're in. You can't go sitting on children on their bicycles. Wait, hang on. That sounded a bit weird, didn't it? Move on. Go on, Tanya, she love. Loves her body so much, she Drop the spicy link. Tanya Mike. What's with this transition? Like, you've just got a veto on Black Ops 2. Canan have been chewing through a monumental 15,000 calories per day. Wait, that's normal, isn't it? Calories in a day. No, it's not normal. It's not normal. Larger than life time. Wait, 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 hang on. What's with the Monday night football graphic? <laughs> What's going on here? Course, you know she's dangerous in the box. Right, that's enough about her box. Clocks up 24 stone, which is double what he should weigh. And he's 56 years old and a worrying... Right, well, obviously the conditions aren't looking good, okay? But it does feel a bit peak making them just stand on display like that. But if you sign up for a show called Fat Families, like, you are just asking to be bullied. Not that I'm saying bullying's good, but it does work. That's a joke. However, when I was in year nine, someone walked up to me in the PE change rooms and said, Why have you got tits? That resulted in me wanting to lose weight. You know, food for four. Oh, pardon the pun. No more. Oh my <laughs> god, look at the sheer no gaming ability on display around. here. This is how I imagine every enemy team looks like on search and destroy imagine you losing on minecraft bed wars and you got these laptop merchants spamming easy in the chat right so this next bit he kind of just follows them around and acts like them for a bit he's basically that annoying mate who just follows you around and comments on everything you're doing first i've got to know exactly what's going on step one of my plan is to spend a whole day with this tubby tribe tubby Tribe. Steve. Too much time sat on their fat bums. That's their problem. Plain and simple. If they don't pull out their chubby fingers, they'll be on the way to an early grave. Watch out, Cuffs. Enough is enough. What does he mean, enough is enough? If you go near a fucking Mars bar, I'll shut your arms off. 
Good you must morning. be Jakey. Good morning. How you doing? Come in. What do you mean, come in? He already has you, dickhead. Sorry, that wasn't very nice, was it? Sorry, child. Let me ask you this. How much weight do you want to lose then? Right, I like being fat. I've always said it. I love being fat. Probably on the wrong show then, love. Reckon the director's behind the camera like, fuck, what are we going to do? What's the point of the show now? The family are planning a trip to Florida in 10 weeks' time. With a fortnight of walking around theme parks ahead of them, I want to find out how important losing weight is for their holiday. To me, it'd be nice to lose a couple of stone when we get on that plane so I can pull that tray down and eat my meals properly. What? Sorry, so you can pull the tray down? Do you want to lose weight so you can put it back on easier? Tanya has got so big that she needs a mobility scooter just to get around. And it's lights out and away we go. It's a good start for Tanya and Mike. But here comes Steve down the middle. Oh, I was enjoying that. I have to go over here. I need these. Okay. Your bird does a three-point turn in Tesco's. Your bird gets DRS in Morrison. And they need to change now. It blows my mind why they eat this rubbish. Bonkers. Bonkers. I'm sure this is what Dizzy Rascal made this song for. Right, so now he's going to follow them to the Chinese buffet. He's basically just going to sit with them and eat the amount of food they normally would eat. Not really sure why this is necessary, to be honest. Like, it's pretty obvious they eat too much. I hope he's paid for them, though. It's kind of like a Last Supper vibe. Except they've substituted the lamb and olives for chow mein. I'm not really into duck. I like duck, but I find it quite greasy. She said, Harley no more. Right, so basically the show's just gonna highlight they eat loads of food. Not that you need a genius to work that out. And he tries to make fun of them for going up for seconds at the all-you-can-eat buffet. It's all about seconds. Two plates down, I wonder how many more to go. Which is literally the point of an all-you-can-eat. Like, it's why you go. But yeah, now they take us back to Tanya's house. So I imagine he's just gonna bully her for being fat again. I really like it. With all that food under our belts, I am fit to pop. I wonder what's in store for me now. A walk in the park would be nice. What should we do then? <sighs> Crisps. More food. <laughs> ben! All right, bubs. Do me a favour. Another packet of discos. Yeah. The big bag of ten. Yeah. That's the bag I want. Don't bring me a little individual bag. Bring me the big bag, babes. Wait, the whole thing? That's a lot of discos. I bet her breath is minging. Nah, but to be fair, no wonder the kids aren't huge. They're just constantly running around her all the time. They never have any food to eat. And the more that you think nothing's happening, you just eat and eat and eat. And I would say I've put on three stone over the last 10 weeks. I don't know, it's, maybe it's like a death wish thing. Do you know what I mean? Christ, that went south. You can tell by the nod of his head that he knows he's in deep. But surely at this point, beyond the cameras, you'll be like, maybe it's time we reevaluate the way we're treating these people. Tanya then goes on to mention that she has trouble sleeping and she needs breathing apparatus to help her. She then admits that she's beginning to realise that her body is beginning to break down. If I go for more than a night or two without this, I'm crabby right back to where I've started. Right. It was all right being fat and breathless, or fat with something else, but things are breaking down. And I'm like, that's like, What's going to happen soon if I'm not walking very far and things are hurting, so I'll stop walking? It's not too late. Frightened that it's all going to give up before I get there. So... Yeah. I can't help it. <laughs> like, at this point, you have to really feel sorry for these people. Like, she's clearly scared and she feels the recovery process is like a double-ended sword. Like, the exercise makes her feel like her body can't keep up, but then she knows the results if she doesn't exercise. Here we see a rare bit of Steve's compassionate side. Maybe he thinks now they really are willing to change, so surely there'll be nothing distasteful after this segment. But if I have to move mountains to help them, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I can't be arsed, man. I actually can't be arsed with this show, man. As soon as you think something good's gonna happen, it's back down to earth with the offensive white man. I've spent a whole day with the cubs eating what they eat. Masses and doing what they do, nothing. But now it's time for this fat family to do things my way. Fuck me, he's a bit sassy, isn't he? I also think he might have the most punchable face on the telly. But yeah, if you're actually gonna help him out, sound, crack on, lad. The habits of a lifetime, they really need to understand the size of the problem. So the next part of my plan is to get them to take a long hard look at their bodies on screen. It's not going to be pleasant viewing. It's with a giant white room. You literally just can't predict this show, man. <laughs> I normally skip this part. If you don't mind, I'm just going to no. unleash my beast. Unleash my beast. When I say that, I end up on a register. This has got to go. Are we going to melt this fat? Absolutely 100%. Just let's see it shift. Come yes! <laughs> let's go, Tanya. All aboard the Tanya recovery train. But what's going on inside? 
To find out, I've arranged for the family to have a full body MOT. Sorry, a full body MOT? Right, for the non-Brits watching, that's Ministry of Transport test. Basically, every year your car has to do a test to see if it's deemed road safe. Never seen it done on a human. Right, so basically now they get a guy to come on the show called Professor McCarthy. And then he's all like, oh, being fat is well bad and stuff. And if you keep being fat, you get bad health. And then they have a bit of a cry, get told the obvious. But this next bit is outrageous. The interesting thing is you're not more obese. Really? You are super morbidly obese. Steve. I swear he just gets a kick out of deflating fat people. Actually, that sounds like a good business model. Here's Steve, the fatty deflator. So basically, the next day, he gathers them all in a room. He's like, oh, you eat too much. Go serve some people what you'd normally eat for yourself and see them laugh at you. Oh, the food is spilling off the plate. Oh, I'll have chips, sir. There's plenty there for me. You Cheers. Sure? Yeah, that's no, cool. Chips, Expensive. It makes it go down better. Oh, I wouldn't be able to manage it, thank you. How many bits of garlic bread do you want? Two, three? Um, just one would be great, please. Just one? Yes, please. Sure? Look at her laughing. I would have been like, yeah, mate. Give me four. If you're offered more, take more. Right, so next up, Stevie goes in their house, takes their sofa and their spinny chair. Now that's out of order, if you ask me. Not only has he nicked them, but he's replaced them with a treadmill and some fancy cushions. You'd be living. You're going on a show for them to post and make money off, and they take your <laughs> furniture in the process. I'd be checking eBay the next morning and buy my sofa back. If you look up there, there's a camera. I will be able to see mate, exactly. Mate, mate, Stevie, you can't be doing that. You can't be putting cameras in people's living rooms. Like, what if they fancy a quickie while they're watching the Discovery Channel? Right, so basically two weeks have gone past and it appears the family have been really active. They've changed their diet to be extremely more healthy and it really does look like they're starting to listen to the advice Steve's given them. It's clear that they're wanting to change their lives for the better. However, Mike's progress has slowed down to zero and Tanya has lost one solitary pound. I sense the initial excitement is wearing off. The attraction of that one remaining sofa is oh, I told you we'd see him having a quickie. But yeah, obviously it's bad and everything, but like, can't expect them to just change their lifestyle overnight. They'll obviously need like a personal trainer or something to actually like guide them. And they can use that advice and expertise to get them over the first hurdle. That's when you leave it in their hands to see if they maintain the lifestyle or not. However, Steve then goes on to confront them about the poor initial results of the weight loss journey. Time for some tough talking. We've got to have a heart to heart and we've got to be open with each other. Frank discussion. What's happening? I don't know. I wish I knew because we have been brilliant. Well, it's evident from my data that you're actually not doing the exercise because your target is to do one hour's uh, exercise a day and you're doing, on average, 38 minutes. No. Steve, see, now that just makes me really angry all over again. It's impossible not to lose weight if you are eating less and moving more. Maybe that you think you're having 2,000 calories, but the, what are the portions like? The results at the moment are, comp are, are appalling. No, no, <laughs> kiss my Because I've worked my I'm on that Because I'm in agony, you can kiss my Tell you. That's not gone very well. Like, I can sort of get why he's had to be so harsh to, like, you know, bring them back to reality. It is kind of like they lost that spark, you know, to actually make the better changes for themselves. But he could have, like, acknowledged the fact they started well and, like, he was really impressed with the start and then be like, yeah, if you just carry on like that, it will be good and everything. But, you know, I'm not the no-nonsense fat buster. Right, so next up, Stevie is actually going to take them to a gym so they can do, like, a weigh-in. This is kind of like a moment of truth sort of thing. They go on to say they've been extremely stressed about this day, so it's clear they have an understanding of how important it is. Mike takes to the scales first. Mike, five weeks ago, you weighed in at 24 stones. You're now 22 stones, 12 pounds. <laughs> Mike, mate, what a shagger. Losing 16 pounds is massive, to be fair. I'd probably call it the bank. Anyway, go have a Krispy Kreme or something to celebrate. Mike's lost 16 pounds in just five weeks. Amazing. And is the next one up. Ah. Five weeks ago, you weighed in at 22 stones. Today, you weigh in at 20 stones, 12 pounds. Wait, they're all at it. So if Tanya next up on the scales, you can see that she's really worried. She's physically very uncomfortable and you can see how important this is to her. Could probably also just show you that they're really scared of Steve. Last of all, Tanya, who can barely bring herself to stand on the scales. That moment of truth, Tanya. <laughs> Onto the scales, please. Five weeks ago, you weighed 
33 stones. You now weigh 31 stones, one pound. <laughs> Nearly two stone, to be fair. That is impressive. They deserve it. Stevie's working his magic on them. So the final five weeks are upon us, and it's time to see if they've actually stuck with the plan. This really is kind of like make or break for the family. So Steve's got them all booked in for makeovers before like the final weigh-in sort of thing. He wants to make them look as good as they possibly can to see the final results with him at the wheel. Sonia Glamatos. Oh my god. <laughs> Four pints. Right, obviously, I'm only taking the piss. They've done very well for themselves. And all of us watching are extremely proud. But now it's time to see the final results of their 10 week journey. For all the effort of the last two and a half months, it's time for the family's final weigh in. First on the scales is Anne, who 10 weeks ago weighed 22 stone. You now weigh 20 stones exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, Anne, love. We stand a weight loss queen. Hopefully you can get the tray down on that plane. The next up is Mike. Now weigh exactly 22 stones. Yeah. Yeah. A loss again of two yeah. stones. What a boy. Proud of you, King. But now for the moment we've all been waiting for. And finally, Tanya, who was a massive 33 stone. Has she lost that three stone, the target I set for her? You now weigh 29 stones, <laughs> seven pounds. <laughs> But I guess it does end on a bit of a sour note. So we kind of all just have to basically accept that bullying fat people works. But if you want me to watch a best of fat families compilation type thing, get this video to 20 likes. And uh, yeah, bye.